I mean, have you been contacted by attorneys around the country? Is there more interest in this from people trying to help or offer advice? Um, <laughs> Maybe offer unwanted advice. advice. <laughs> offer advice. Um, attorneys, no, there's been, I've received several dozens of emails from different attorneys, even from prosecutors, like from different states saying, you know, keep wow. fighting. Keep yeah. Pushing. And, and, you know, and congratulatory e emails when this came through. Now, advice, uh, if I had hair, I would have pulled it out because, Megan, I, I appreciate everyone. Yeah. But gosh darn it, <laughs> the people, the internet sleuths that acted like I didn't know what was on that drinks <laughs> video and acting like I wasn't going to bring it up and I needed to be told and I needed to be tagged in every post and I needed to be called and voicemail after voicemail after voicemail from every state in the union. And uh, our friend Thugger Daly actually did me a, a I saw solid. That. Yeah. And he's like, I think Max knows what's on the video. Y'all can stop tagging him. Yeah. And, let, let Max cook. I think he said. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I was yeah. so appreciative that I understand the interest, but it was kind of like, wait a second, I'm asking these questions in a way that are leading you to the conclusion, but you don't think I know what the conclusion is? Like, that's why I'm asking these questions. Yeah. And the other thing yeah. is, you know, I was kind of thinking I'm holding something in my pocket that maybe the other side might not be 100% on right now. So I'm like, Y'all, y'all are telling my secret right now on the right. internet, right? Because they made it pretty clear that they were paying attention to the social media hype. You know, I, I think that's yeah. one thing that could be studied in law schools, and there could be a big ABA journal article about what it was like for the attorneys and just the court staff and everyone to have so much publicity on this case and how that changed things in the courtroom. I mean, or, or if it, it, if it did, I mean, how it, it definitely changed things for you guys just in how you dealt with your everyday lives and kind of trying to deal with this, but did it, did it change what you did in the courtroom or, or help you or, or sometimes hurt you just as you worried it might become a distraction? To me, no, I didn't pay attention to it. Max and some of the others were on constant look at the computer to see what comments were made during the trial. Um, and some of the comments would be helpful, and some of them were just totally by people that were unaware of what was mm -hmm. going on. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it has some influence. It's just the way things are nowadays, is that people do pay attention to social media. And a lot of the trial was all about social media. Oh, it was. Yeah. That the that, defendants had taken part. It was very, a huge part. Well, we actually, that was one of my disagreements with, with Shannon was uh, the different feeds. I liked law and crime when things were bad. I like getting the perspective of non-jurors. And, mm -hmm. you know, obviously there's a lot of YSL fans and, you know, that they, they were always going to say, but there was some people that were more objective. And, mm -hmm. and I like seeing negative comments because I know what's out there and what I need to worry about. Mm -hmm. And, and, but Shannon, he didn't like seeing negative comments. So he'd always want to get out of more. And I said, Shannon, seeing the negative comments helps us because we know yeah. what we need to do but that was that was kind of a funny thing um but yeah 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 how did how did the clients uh and shannon and keep up with with all the coverage was there because i mean we saw you guys at the at the defense table and it's in like you said there is a legitimate legal strategy to reading these comments it's not like you're just right. screwing around on the internet when you're doing that so did you have set times that you would kind of do updates or was it just periodic that you would look at things we would just look at things periodically yeah 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 gosh when you're not when you're not actually talking or cross-examining or presenting evidence or anything like that and you got time and there was a lot of kind of off time when we knew what the witnesses were going to say 
and what cross-examination would be, that we had to watch the trial and see the comments. And so, yeah, it was helpful. And yeah. Shannon was especially, you know, it's kind of boring sometimes to him. And so he would be active in the part of, in telling us things that they're saying, and what do you say about this? But right. we let him do that. Um, because yeah. That's what he's used to. Yeah. And plus right. they were receiving nothing while in the jail, no newspapers, no updates, no news. Um, so it was kind of refreshing for him to be able to watch something. Oh yeah. Participate. Yeah. Um, yeah. Somebody, uh, Ali asked what, what led you to become a defense attorney, Max and, and mentor young men and uh, work with the next level boys Academy. And if you can talk about what that is there in Atlanta, right? Right. So the first part, what led me to become a defense attorney, um, that's, I was one of those people that went to law school and didn't really, I, I didn't know any lawyers and I didn't have it figured out. And um, I just couldn't see myself sitting in an office all day. That's just not me. I, I think people have seen my nervous energy and, and kind of the energy I walk around with and I have trouble sitting still. So that wasn't really going to work. And then, you know, I think I told you this last time I had in college, I, I just, the sweetest kid, the most, humble kid got charged with a federal crime and you know all of a sudden we're playing basketball in the gym and and he's got a ankle monitor on um and like what he got charged with the, and you know this is just a computer geek and you know he got charged federally for some uh u.s currency stuff that he was kind of dragged into by other people he was just the guy who knew how to use a computer and so i just thought that was very unfair um, and, and that's kind of made me start thinking about criminal defense. And, um, so that's, that's, and I, so I, I began as a public defender in Columbia, South Carolina, where I went to college and, uh, you know, I took the job very seriously, uh, next level boys Academy. I've been working with them for, uh, about probably about five, five years now. Um, and I just, I'm a strong believer in you know, be the, be the change. Don't talk about it, you know, take action. And, um, Mr. Gary Davis, who heads that program, um, you know, he's just someone that's taken upon himself to not talk about it, but get young people together that have, um, some challenges, a lot of them with the legal system and, you know, just talk through things and build a sense of camaraderie and love and in positivity and um you know so i love being part of that and, mm -hmm. and just trying to you know make the world a better place 